I think I need an intervention. Hank here for Free Podcast Tools, and I'm going to go over some reasons why I am starting to change my tune on the Roadcaster Duo. One, it's the return of the 3.5 millimeter jack on the front. Kind of reminds me of those video game companies where they take a feature out one year and then two years later they put it back and they go, hey, it's all new. Maybe they are sort of a mastermind, so to speak. Stay tuned later because I have a theory. I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on and I have a theory about what they may do in the future. I switch headphones like it's going out of style. So I have my podcast editing headphones that I put on over ear, and then I have my in-ear monitors that I use for making these videos and other things. So as simplistic as it is, reaching around to the back and switching into port one or having them both in there, I get this tangled mess on my desk. I'm not sharing a picture of that, by the way. Uh, it's embarrassing. But the cord's wrapping around to the front, and I have both of them coming around. I try to weave them under the microphone cables and stuff like that. I'm sick of that. I miss that 3.5 on the front. And I'm really starting to feel like I have to have it back. Next, they keep the vase amount on the bottom of the unit. So whereas the Roadcaster Pro 2 has the vase amount on there, and you could mount it, even the small Roadcaster Duo is going to have that VESA mount on the bottom. And I'm thinking about getting it and mounting it up here so I can swivel it off the desk, have my entire desk. Well, as you can see by this shot, not the entire desk. Let's, let's switch views. I can gain even more real estate, like complete real estate, which I could do with this bigger board. But where would I swivel this bigger board to? For the next one, I think you'll think I'm crazy, but please hear me out. Finding the sound effects on the board. I have a one in eight chance of getting the right sound effect. So I've been podcasting with co host recently and I'm sitting here hunting and hunting. Uh, oh, it's that one. And I finally get the right sound effect. I know that sounds simplistic, but this is something I have really been struggling with lately because the screen is over to the right and it's on the right side of that screen. So I'm kind of looking over to see what's what because I don't have them memorized because I have so many banks in there. So could it be that the Roadcaster Duo having six pads is actually an addition by subtraction with a truncated sound pad grouping? Then I'll have a one in six chance of getting it correct. The unit will still have all the bells and whistles that the bigger unit has and simply minus two combo jacks, which I haven't podcasted next to anyone in about 11 years. That's a long time. And minus the two sound pads and minus two faders, two physical faders. But what's a couple faders amongst friends? By the way, at the end of this video, click the next video because... That is an 80 second trailer for my upcoming short film. If you want a good chuckle, uh, feel free to roast me, make fun, point, laugh, and all that stuff. I did it for the sheer joy of doing it. So I am extremely close to packing up the Roadcaster Pro 2 and selling it and turning around and getting the Roadcaster Duo. Do you think I'm crazy? Please chime in down in the comments below. But first, I have a theory. What if Rode, in 24 months or less, releases a Rodecaster solo? It's an interesting theory. I agree. Then they will have successfully backed into the device I needed <laughs> in the first place. <laughs> They'll have gone from four to two to one. Oh, that's the device I needed in the very first place. There's still room in the market. Tascam, Zoom, everybody. Make a solo device just like this. Pretty please with sugar on top. So if I were Tascam, if I were Zoom, if I were any of these companies out here on the fringe, make a competent recording device that's a solo. Please don't just keep copying what Rode does. Let's try to navigate around what they're doing. What do you think? Chime in in the comments down below. Do you think I'm a little bit loony? considering selling the Roadcaster Pro 2 and getting the Roadcaster Duo, or since I've already made the $700 investment and I can sell this device for 
more than a roadcaster duo is it kind of a moot point you know i love hearing your thoughts in the comments and i always take into consideration all the great advice you guys give down in the comments so greatly appreciated check out this crazy 80 second trailer for my short film next and i'll be back very soon with more content thank you